Well, at this point, you can see I have it locked into position. And um, just for the sake of being able to hear what I'm saying, I'll explain everything completely before I do the demonstration. Um, when, the, when you pressurize the bottom of this cylinder, it's going to try to pull the rod of the cylinder out. And in return, it's also going to drag these rods up, which are underneath the bottom of this flange. And when the cylinder goes up, it's going to drag the bottom of this down and try to cr compress these gaskets between the two flanges. And these are just rubber gaskets. Um, but I'm going to get ready to go ahead and uh, fire the air. I'm going to put air into the bottom of this to simulate the oil that's leaking out. And I'm going to raise it up. And then I'm going to pressurize the bottom of the cylinder. And you'll be able to see the concept of the idea working. And you can kind of see, I don't have these rods dialed in perfectly. It doesn't take a whole lot of pressure in one spot or the other to pinch this off so that it completely stops leaking. But you're dealing with 90 PSI here is what the inlet is from the compressor. And this is just an air tank with a secondary air supply that I have rigged up just to supply air for the cylinder. And obviously uh, a pneumatic cylinder isn't something that you'd use underwater but uh, the use of materials is what I have available to me and uh, these are the things that I use just to prove the concept of my design here.